Hey, beautiful spirits. Today, we're going to talk about how to stop comparing yourself to others because it is nasty. It is a nasty, awful bully comparison, and it stops a lot of good in our lives and it keeps us down and we let it. So I'm LD Juarez. I'm your sparkle coach, and we are going to get to the bottom of this because it is time to stop it. Brand new year, brand new you, brand new everything. Let's move that energy and high vibe. So let's get rid of comparison. How do we do it? I've got five questions you ask yourself so you can fix this. Get it out. You know what I mean? Ping, ping, get it out. So the first question you ask yourself is what's bringing up that comparison in the first place? What's bringing up the feelings of inadequacy? What's bringing up those feelings of envy? Because if we're being honest, a lot of comparison is envy. Why? Because you're seeing someone's highlight reel. You're seeing they're doing all these great things. And you know, I've, I've been there too. I see people accomplishing goals that I have wanted to do for years, but I didn't do them. Why? Because of feeling not good enough or, oh, they're better at it than me. Or, oh, my parents told me I would never be or whatever, whatever it is. Then we, we use that story and we never fulfill our potential. And that's another thing. Is that potential unfulfilled? Why? Is it a security blanket? Is it that you're like, well, I was told I'm not worthy, so I'm not going to do it anyway. Then it, so then it takes you off the hook, right? Then it's like, well, it's not really my fault. Um, you know, my parents or my peers or, or that person or that relationship, they made it so that I couldn't reach my goals. No, if you're blaming other people, then you never have your power. So to take your power back, really look at this. What is bringing up those feelings for you? Write it down if you need to, but really figure it out so you can pinpoint and check it out. And then that way, when you have that awareness, you can fix it. That is where you can fix it and move forward. And that is what we want. So number two, are you clear on the desire behind that comparison? Are you comparing because that's something you've always wanted to do? Are you comparing because that's what you've always wanted to feel like? Is that what you've always wanted to live like? Okay, so if you're clear behind that, then you can move on to number three. Are you clear on your why? Why do you want to reach those particular goals? Why do you want to have that particular lifestyle? You might find out that it's like, you know what? I really don't want that at all. I really want this other thing. So by thinking about it and going through this process, you're going to really discover exactly what you want, why you want it, and what it would feel like to have those things, to have those goals being accomplished, to have that lifestyle, to have that fitness, to have that musical ability, whatever it is. If you think about your why, what would drive you, that will also keep you continuing to move forward when the times get tough and you won't give up. So you write down your why and you keep it somewhere in your house that you see it every day. Set an alarm on your phone that reminds you of your why and it'll keep you going. It'll give you that um, momentum. Okay, and number four, are you ready and willing to learn or get help to achieve those goals? So if you're willing to learn or get help, that takes care of the obstacles that might come along and you can continue forward. If you're not very good at computer stuff, you can move forward with a tutor. You can get someone to help you. You can find a student that knows these things, a family member, a nephew, a niece, somebody who knows these things. and. If it's something you need help with, with from an agency or from something, then you know what to do from there and you can move forward that way. If you're willing to do that, to give up some of the control and let help come your way, that will help you reach these goals. And number five, are you ready to take action? Because if you're taking action and you have blinders on and you're laser focused on what you want to do, you have no choice but to achieve those goals. You'll be so busy, you'll have no time to compare yourself to others. And guess what you might find out? You might find out that other people doing the same thing as you, they feel the same thing as you, they're on the same path as you, and they are just as motivated as you are now. And they don't have time to compare because they're busy and you won't have time to compare because you're busy too. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Please hit like. 
please um, subscribe, comment below, let me know what you think. And I really hope that this helps you. So save this video for later and come back and tell me how it's going for you. I want to know about all your goals that you're achieving and how wonderful you're feeling once you get rid of the comparison because you are sparkly exactly the way you are. Okay, thank you. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.